Hey, I'm RT and welcome back to RT's world. So today we got a very nice casino for you again. So this time it's all about a slot machine. So um, what it does is you have three rows and if you end up with uh, three netherite blocks in this row here, uh, you will win the prize and I can show it to you. It works like this. Yeah, it's kind of loud. There's a lot of redstone going on. So now we want nothing. So that's basically a gambling machine with uh, three slots. And the suggestion came from uh, Jordan Savage. Make a three redstone lamp slot machine casino build, please. And yeah, here it is. And uh, of course, as you saw already in the intro, this is not the only machine I will show you today. The second one is much simpler, uh, but uh, refills or fills the same purpose. You just drop in your diamond here. Yeah, now we got only one lamp. Just drop another one in. Yeah, now we got this lamp. And if we're lucky, we get all three lamps and another right ingot drops from the ceiling. So that's our price here. Of course, um, I have here this uh, completely two different, uh, these are completely two different builds. We have um, one time this very simple redstone machine, which is for beginners. And we have here also this highly complex, um, but I think I also compacted down a little bit or a fair bit to make it look good. Uh, this very complicated machine where we have the blocks instead of the lamps, which is also kind of nice because with the lamps you're kind of limited to redstone lamps only and with the blocks you of course have the whole uh, like Minecraft inventory <laughs> where you can choose from. So uh, this is basically structured into two parts. So first again just explain everything and how everything works and then the block by block tutorial for each machine. However, for the big machine, I think I will make a separate video since it will take, I don't know, like 30 minutes to build it. <laughs> uh, whereas this machine is built in like 10 minutes. But uh, of course the complexity is different because we have completely different um, displays in the front. So again, we have the simple machine where I just drop in diamond and see what the odds are of getting all three lamps. And here we have this uh, kind of sliding mechanism as you can see them usually in casinos where you really get those motion of the blocks and I think I like this one better. However, it's also like three or four times uh, more resources and also more build time. So you can basically design. I went a little bit overkill on this one and I maybe over engineered it a little bit, but it's totally customizable. You can put in any blocks you want. It doesn't matter. They have to, they only have to be movable and they're not allowed to be redstone blocks or any power sources, but uh, you could also use lamps or whatever. You're free to the whole Minecraft inventory here and your only, your creativity is the limit. And yeah, so these machines are of course uh, completely multiplayer friendly. So if there's a redstone working on a server where you want to build them, uh, you can build them and uh, they also don't draw much server performance since we have no, not really much uh, hoppers or any other uh, laggy components going on. And here are the chances uh, just for the uh, small machine, which are 12.5% in total. The calculation for the big machine is a little bit more complicated. Uh, I think I will skip that or just simplify it in the explanatory video. But now we'll start here at the small machine. So um, as you already saw, this is our item input. We have your uh, simple item filter. We just place in the diamond or throw in the diamond into the first hopper. And if we do so, um, the second hopper will filter it out into this uh, chest where all our profits will be stored. So now we have 55. If I put one in, the casino will do its thing. And we have here one diamond uh, added to this uh, profit chest. So at some point we just go here, take the profits out and we're done. Yeah, this is the item filter. It's very simple. Then we just run into a pulse extender where we just uh, want to um, increase the pulse length. So nobody can spam our casino or mess with the, tech, the redstone tech behind it. From there on, we just uh, simply run into another pulse extender to power the piston to cover the hole where we can throw in a diamond. So we don't uh, throw in unnecessary diamonds. And then we just go to the green line where first this line here is powered the line on the right side and here is just a 50 50 chance uh, or the, the odds of getting a stone sword is 50 percent and the odds of getting an iron block is also 50 percent for all those three hoppers of course you can customize them if i would put in for example another stone sword we would end up um, three divided by two so 66 percent if i for example put in another um, stackable item 
uh, we would have 33%. So that's basically how you can customize the odds. And uh, the more non-stackable items you put in, the higher the chance, and the more stackable items you put in, the lower the chance of winning. So after this uh, right line is powered and the item is moved into the left dropper here, this comparator reads the output and the stone sword will give two signal strength, whereas the stackable items will give only one signal strength. So if uh, one signal strength is reached, nothing would happen. If two is reached, uh, the lamp in uh, here will be powered, the note block will be powered and this redstone torch will be turned off. I can also show it to you. Just put in a diamond. And as you can see here, uh, yeah, that was really fast. Uh, maybe I just grab a button. Yeah, as you can see now here, this redstone torch was just unpowered for a short amount of time, but that's completely um, fitting and completely enough for our machine to work. And after this whole process is done, these repeaters will power this line here and the item will just move from the left back to the right to its original state and you can play again. And if all those three uh, redstone lamps are off, so basically you have this just stone swords or non-stackable items in the droppers uh, here on the, on, the, on the front side, you would win the main prize, which is uh, the uh, netherite ingot and this signal will just be uh, connected to this dropper where the, the ingot just drops down to you. And here is just uh, addition, here's a, a small redstone tone, as you can see here, yeah, where we just create a, a, a little bit of music if we win. And yeah, here's our prize. Yeah, that's basically the small uh, casino. And I will also go and explain the large one before I build this here block by block. So. Here it's uh, much more complicated, of course. So we throw in our diamond. We have a lot of noise going on, unfortunately. So I didn't uh, figure out a way to make it uh, silent yet. But uh, yeah, you have pistons moving, so you never really have a silent casino. But uh, as you can see here, they just um, move very fast upwards. And yeah, sometimes some of these rows uh, move even longer compared to other rows. And yeah, what we have here is uh, yeah a little bit more redstone tech going on. Uh, I will show you. It's very tight here. Um, here are my pro oh here are the profits again in this chest. It's that's basically the same mechanism. Then if we um, put in a diamond, the signal will get repeated. Will get um, extended. The pulse will get extended even more here and even more here. That's basically to give enough time for all the uh, chances and the odd calculations down here to um, be calculated and sent over to these uh, pistons. And then if everything is finished, um, this block will retract its block again and you can throw in the next diamond. So that just prevents you from putting in more money into the casino while it's running. And if you, if you could do that, it would mess up the casino technique. So uh, it's very... Um, it's very important to have all those pulse extenders. So first of all, we power those droppers. Those droppers will spit out again one of those two items. They will end up in this hopper. The signal will get, uh, or the item will be detected by these comparators. Either we have one signal strength or two signal strength. If we end up with one signal strength, um, here that's basically, this system is just here to make the make different pulse lengths for the casino. So if everything would be like the same, you could end up with a pattern here. So, you know, if you put in like eight diamonds, on the eighth diamond, you would always win. And that's what I want to prevent here, so that nobody can trick you or um, just uh, use that redstone casino tech to their or their advantage. So that make, makes it basically impossible to predict if you win or if you don't win, because each of those three rows has its randomizer here, where you have a 50-50 chance of uh, getting a long pulse or a short pulse. If we get uh, the, the short pulse, which is represented by the stackable item here, um, we just power this one redstone dust here. It powers this target block. It, the signal is picked up by the repeater, transferred to this uh, light gray line. And this light gray line simply powers a clock, which has nine items inside. And these nine items uh, will just flow to the right and then back to the left. And all this time they're flowing. This redstone torch is on and the signal is transmitted upwards to the dark gray circuit 
where it just unpowers all of our um, redstone clocks. This is a redstone clock here. I will show you how it, how it works in a second. And basically what we have here is a complete uh, duplicate of the right structure to the left. And I will show you why we have this uh, duplicate here on the left too. And that's basically our piston belt, our conveyor belt, where all the blocks get moved around. And here we have the same uh, conveyor belt, but instead of uh, the non-winning blocks, which are concrete and lapis blocks in this case, we have blue glass. And in case of the netherite blocks, which are our winning blocks, uh, we have those cauldrons. And yeah, if three netherite ingots are here, I will show it to you now, if they're moving here, uh, also this piston belt here is moving, so they are completely in sync. And now we should have no um, netherite block in the winning row. And as you can see here, yeah, we also have no netherite block here. So we did we don't win anything this time uh, because we have yeah not even one another red block in our winning row. So that's just basically duplicating our um, piston belt to usable redstone signals. And yeah, here I was uh, before, where I just want to put in another diamond to show you the redstone clocks working. As you can see here, here we have just a simple redstone clock with an observer. And it's just here to power and unpower the piston belts. And yeah, now we again have no <laughs> netherite in the uh, in the winning row, but it's fine. It's just completely random. And if we would end up, so that's basically the case. If the right item, this block of iron, will be spit out to the hopper, if the stone sword will be spit out, uh, something different happens. We have now, of course, also the first circuit powered, but. We have also this row powered and this row um, then or this uh, line of redstone is detected by this repeater and here we have for each row different length we have here uh, 10 items we have here 13 items and we have here 16 items so we have at least one item more compared to here so if the um if we have two a signal strength of two the lines will al always run longer as the default uh, run time and that's basically where the random part comes in. You cannot predict which line will run longer than other lines. So you cannot um, calculate or even know when this casino will give you the price and when not. Or if there's a pattern where, for example, like every 10th draw or so you will get something. Yeah, and as you can see now, we have now one again nothing. <laughs> Just do it one more time. Maybe I can show you if there's something in the winning row, what the cauldrons do. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, now we want the netherite block. Uh, yeah, of course, we have now the winning row completely full. That gives us the netherite block. Great. And as you can see here, now, um, here are three cauldrons in this winning row. So that's basically two synced conveyor belts again. And every one of these cauldrons is just filled slightly. So it gives out a signal strength of one. And here with this... Um, item hopper comparing the signals to these cauldrons we just end up with the right signal strength if all three cauldrons are here all those redstone dust is unpowered um, just unpowering those redstone torches and this end gate here is completely uh, powerless therefore powering our dropper here so what we also want to prevent is if for example at some point um, during the run of the casino these three blocks are here but afterwards they will get moved again we don't want the item every time those three blocks are here in this row. And that's basically why this piston here uh, is uh, very necessary. So if, for example, three blocks of netherite are in a row just for a short time and then get moved again, you would win a netherite, ink, a netherite block. And this piston here just makes sure that if you play the casino, it's retracted. So everything that goes on doesn't matter. So if there are three cauldrons in a row, the casino doesn't care. and only a short amount after the conveyor belt has stopped, this piston moves the block forward and enabling the price to be won. So yeah, you cannot um, win if just for a short amount of time here are three blocks of netherite. So yeah, there, there, again we had it here two times now that we had for a short amount of time three netherite blocks in a row, but we won nothing of course because this piston prevents the machine from speeding out a price and yeah. I think that's basically everything I wanted to explain. Um, yeah, of course, all those um, randomizers are linked up to both um, conveyor belts the same time. 
or the same way also. So uh, they're completely in sync. It says it has to be tick precise, so otherwise you would mess up the whole system. But the main advantage of this casino is of course the customizability. So you could of course use any block here and uh, swap everything out for the blocks you'd like. And that makes it much more versatile compared to this casino here. And yeah, now we will move on to the second part of this video. So now welcome to the block by block tutorial. Um, first of all, you need a 13 by seven platform uh, where you wanna build it. Of course, it can be more than seven. It can be less, a little bit less than seven. That's just, uh, you have to comfortably, can comfortably stand here. And then we need kind of this pattern here where you just um, count one block inward from every side and put in those two um, decorative blocks here. Same for the other side and then just increase the height to four like this. And then we want to grab some stairs and also some quartz blocks. So just here a row of quartz, here a row of quartz, then three blocks, here a row of quartz. Um, then here some stairs, some redstone lamps and some stairs which are facing upwards. And here block on top and then kind of a, a redstone a stair again. So now we just, yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's just for decoration. You can put in here some decorative blocks, um, put in some frames. That's just where we display our, our price. And that's where we display our, sorry. That's where we display our um, currency to play with, the diamond. And here we just grab some netherite. That's basically our blocks or our items we want to win. And next we're gonna put in the ceiling. like this and here we just leave a gap for the dropper like that put in the netherite and of course I just uh, put it one block too low like this so you can't see it from below and then put in the netherite yeah, and then just uh, repeat the roof as you like and repeat kind of the wall pattern as you prefer them, you can use any material. It doesn't have to be quartz and that's basically what it should look like afterwards. And now we wanna grab some hoppers, some chests and yeah, some pieces of redstone and also a lot of a lot of diamonds. And yeah, of course, our fancy um, birch trapdoor. So we remove this block here, put in two, drop, uh, two hoppers facing into the right block. So if you look at them from behind, they should look like this, not connected to each other and just cover them by a birch trapdoor from the front so it looks very fancy and then we just uh, grab us a chest put it here so the second dropper is facing into the chest and then we want to grab some stairs again and replace this block with a stair so we can open and access this chest here very easily next we're gonna grab some light wool and place in here two blocks and uh, just read the output of the upper dropper a uh, hopper with this comparator piece of redstone, piece of redstone, uh, repeater, uh, block, and again, I have to remove the chest shortly, sorry, uh, again here a redstone torch, like this. So now it's time to put in the diamonds here. Just place a diamond at every slot, except for the first slot here you wanna put 18. And if you put in 18 there, just put one more and uh, this one item, item will be uh, sucked downwards one hopper and it just there should be nothing. So if you uh, take an output of this block here and just throw in a diamond, it should, yeah, of course you saw it here, it's just powered for a second and your profits will be stored in the chest down below. Next up, we want to connect everything here. So we need some red wool and some red concrete. Uh, the concrete is just that it uh, note blocks doesn't make this kind of weird uh, guitar sound uh, when we uh, place them on wool so that's basically why here is a uh, red um, concrete so just um, sorry just place in the concrete right in front of this uh, redstone lamps and then just one block below a row of red wool in the middle we want to put in three repeaters and then we want to put here kind of this shape uh, where just here is a repeater and here and we set them to three ticks. Just connect everything with redstone and then just grab some uh, note blocks and put them here. And of course you can just um, yeah make whatever sound you like on them. It doesn't really matter, just play around. 
maybe just give each slot another sound. So uh, the next part we want to do is we're going to grab some green, but some lime green. Oh god, that's not how I read green. Is it don't call it lime green? No, it's just called lime red. Yeah, the lime wool. Uh, we want to go three blocks from here and just place in a comparator on the last one and two pieces of redstone dust in between. And then we just want to build like this structure where we can read the output of this block. Then two uh, block space and again the same line and then just cover everything with redstone like this. Next we want to put in the droppers, so just droppers here and droppers there. They should face into each other so they can uh, transfer items between each other. And into the right dropper we put a stone sword and a non-stackable item. It re really doesn't, ah uh, sorry, a non-stackable item, the stone sword and a stackable item and it doesn't really matter what it is. So it can also be redstone, it can be diamonds, it really doesn't matter what it is. Um, the only Necessarity is that it's uh, stackable comp and yeah, that's basically it. That's our 50-50 uh, chances. Then we want to connect uh, those two lines with two repeaters set to four ticks like this. And here another repeater. So now we want to go to the uh, piston part. So we want to grab another block of quartz, put it uh, right above this comparator and the sticky piston facing into this block and then just this kind of 2 by 3 area where we just wanna put in a redstone uh, pulse extender like this, one comparator facing in this direction, one in the other and then just like this, um, oh sorry, just like this, put a redstone torch on top, put one below it so the piston should have extended and just retracted again. And here we just put a repeater. Here we put in this again this uh, kind of two by three block white uh, platform where we just put in four pieces of redstone in total. Comparator facing in this direction, comparator facing in the other direction. So now everything is uh, wired up for the f for the piston to extend, so if we throw in a diamond, the piston extends and retracts if the casino is ready to play again. And now we just uh, simply connect up this line here with uh, this line there. So just grab an output of this redstone and connect everything up. And yeah, that's basically everything we need for this casino. Now um, the lamps work, except for uh, the lamps work, but the only thing that doesn't work is the price output yet. So if you throw in some diamonds into this hopper, nice, we got two. If it retracts, we can play again. Okay, we got the same two. Yeah, now we got all three, nice. So uh, basically it's completely random which of those lamps will light up, but if all of them will light up, um, we wanna have a price dispensed. So we just read this uh, signal here and we read it with this uh, redstone torch on the side of the block. And then we grab some grey wool starting here and going just this way to block. Just one, two, three, four, five pieces of redstone. They run into a torch and from there on we just torch up like this. And from this torch on we just want to connect those two lines like that. Just connect everything with redstone. And if you uh, want to you can also put in here some uh, note blocks like that. Just connect the first one like this, then two ticks, then four ticks and then you have this kind of da 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 if you win. So this one should be the highest tone, the middle tone and this is the lowest tone. So if we would win and I just uh, maybe simulate it by removing this torch. Oh, of course by removing this torch. You heard it? Yeah, that's basically our music uh, when we win and there should be now a bunch of netherite ingots on the floor. So yeah, that's basically the block by block tutorial done. If we, yeah, we can also win nothing of course, if none of the lamps will light up. Yeah, but now we won. Nice, great. So you can play it now and uh, you will end up with a different result every time. And yeah. 
If you want to see um, after this block by block tutorial how the block by block tutorial of the complex machinery works and I can just shortly demonstrate it to you again. If you want to know how this uh, machine works here, which is of course uh, much more complicated, but also I guess it's the, the nicer and fancier version. Uh, just watch the next video. I think I will release it uh, the next day. Yeah, I will also link it in the video description if you want to uh, watch it right now. And yeah, that leaves me just to say thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. And as always, there's of course a world download in the video description. So see you. Bye bye.